Hi there, folks! The Euro 2024 knockout rounds have finally begun. So, hit the like button and let's get the show on the pitch! Right back Sergio Dest has completed a permanent move to PSV from Barcelona. Last season, he played for the Peasants on a loan deal. Liverpool have held talks with Newcastle United over a potential deal for winger Anthony Gordon, but the parties have yet to agree on a transfer fee. Aston Villa have landed Chelsea left back Jan Matzen, who spent the second half of last campaign on loan for Borussia Dortmund. Experienced striker Joselu has left Real Madrid for the Qatar Stars League side Al Garrafa. Brentford have reached an agreement with Leeds United over the transfer of young central midfielder Archie Gray for £35 million. 18-year-old midfielder Omari Kalaman has completed his move from Aston Villa to Chelsea for £22 million. UEFA has excluded Spaniard Jesus Gil Manzano from the list of Euro 2024 referees. He was sent home for mistakes made during the Austria-France tie. It was the only match he served at the tournament. Atalanta have purchased Sanchez back Ben Godfrey from Everton for 9 million euros plus bonuses. Kylian Mbappe was wearing a knee protective mask in France training. The legendary Rafael Varane flew to Italy in order to hold talks with Serie A newcomers Como, coached by Cesc Fabregas. Kieran Trapier has managed to recover from a minor muscle injury. He is expected to start in the Euro 2024 last 16 match against Slovakia. Real Madrid goalkeeper Andre Lunin has changed his mind about extending his contract with the club. He has no intention of being Courtois under study, and thus he plans to change clubs. Girona star Savio scored his first international goal for Brazil in a Group D fixture against Paraguay in the ongoing Copa America 2024. Italy winger Stefan El Sharavi made his first appearance in a major international tournament since June 22, 2016. Kylian Mbappe will wear the number 9 shirt at Real Madrid. He will not demand the number 10 jersey out of respect for Luka Modric. Liverpool are showing interest in Euro 2024 star Georgi Mamardashvili. He is seen as a perfect replacement for Alisson. Swiss winger Ruben Vargas has been named the player of the match for the clash between Switzerland and Italy. Felipe Coutinho leaves Aston Villa and returns to his boyhood club Vasco da Gama. Last season, he performed for Aldo Hail on a loan deal. It's difficult to play in these stadiums because of the pitch and the referees against us not giving the clear fouls. The way Conmebol treats us is complicated, Vinicius Jr. claimed. Italy, the reigning European champions, have been eliminated from Euro 2024 in the round of 16. This means that Europe will get a new champion. Switzerland defeated Italy for the first time since 1993. Also, Red Crosses have reached the quarterfinals of the European Championship for the second time in their history. Saudi Pro League clubs have approached Benjamin Pavard's agent in the recent weeks, but he immediately decided to close the door. Darwin Nunez became the second player in the history of the Uruguay national team to score in seven consecutive games. The first footballer to achieve the same feat was actress Carone back in 1928. Midfielder Hakim Ziyech has parted ways with Chelsea and joined Galatasaray on a permanent transfer. AC Milan have bought out the contract of young left-back Alex Jimenez, who played for the Rossoneri on loan from Real Madrid for 5 million euros. The responsibility is mine, but there is a big difference between the games I've had to coach and the others," Luciano Spalletti notes. Lionel Messi will not feature in the final group stage meeting of the 2024 Cup America against Peru due to a minor injury. Still, he will be fully fit for the quarterfinals. Kepa Rizabalaga is currently rejecting all offers, as he is waiting for Andrea Luning's final decision. Real Madrid won Kepa back in case the Ukrainian departs from the club. Newcastle United have accepted Brighton's £33 million proposal for young winger Jan Kubaminte, who had a successful loan spell at Feyenoord this past season. Chelsea are close to lending Leicester City's key midfielder Kieran Dewsbury Hall. The Foxes wanted to swap him for Brighton's Jakob Mader, though the deal collapsed due to Chelsea's intervention. Atletico Madrid have finalized the contract with Real Sociedad defender Robin Linarman. The Indians will pay 30 million euros. 
Boca Juniors 18-year-old centre-back Aaron Anselmino moves to Chelsea for a fee of around $25 million. He will remain at his current club on loan until the end of the year. Bologna, who will be participating in the Champions League next season, have acquired right-back Emil Holm, who played on loan for Atalanta last season from Spezia for 7 million euros. Antonio Rüdiger has been named the player of the match for the duel between Germany and Denmark. I think Quartz Hillia is better than all these Spain players, Georgi Mamardishvili stated. What a spectacular display by Switzerland! Before the start of the tournament, even the local newspapers did not believe in Murat Yakin's team. Yet, they managed to knock Italy out of Euro 2024. In the first half, Remo Freuler put the red crosses ahead, finding the back of the net after a cross from the left flank. In the first seconds of the second half, Ruben Vargas's stunning strike doubled the lead for the Swiss. Germany pressured Denmark right from the start of the encounter. But Kasper Schmeichel pulled off another incredible performance at the Euros. Also, there was a disruption in the first half. In the 33rd minute, Michael Oliver had to take the teams off the pitch because of a torrential thunderstorm and hail. While the teams were resting, some fans were having a great time at the Dortmund Stadium. After the break, Denmark's defender Joachim Andersen almost became his country's hero, though his goal was disallowed due to a microscopic offside. A minute later, Germany was awarded a penalty for Andersen's handball. Havertz converted the spot kick. A bit later, in the 68th minute, Jamal Musiala put the match to bed. The Brazilian national team finally won! During the clash against Paraguay, Vinicius scored a brace, Lucas Paquita converted a penalty kick on the second attempt, and Savio bagged another goal. Just look at Neymar's reaction after Vinicius's first goal, how important it was for Selecao. And Samareska is asking Chelsea's board to acquire a new top forward who has already proven his worth at the Premier League level. He believes that Newcastle's Alexander Isak is just such a goal-scoring striker. The Magpies need to offload a player to comply with profitability and sustainability regulations before July 1st, and it reportedly would take a transfer fee of more than £100 million to consider letting their main striker depart. The club do not want to see any of their key players leave, but are aware that they could incur a points deduction if they raise funds through outgoing transfers. It looks like one of Bayern's leaders, Joshua Kimmich, will leave the club this summer. Luckily, there are top contenders for his signature. Liverpool have not yet acquired a single high-profile player since the appointment of Ernest Lott, and Kimmich could be just the right guy for them. According to the source, the initial price for Kimmich is £42 million, although Bayern may be forced to sell him for less, as Joshua's agreement with the Rotten expires in the summer of 2025 and he may leave as a free agent if he does not find a new club this summer. Talks over a new contract have reached a stalemate. Apart from Liverpool, Barcelona, Manchester City and Arsenal are also interested in Kimmich's services. Manchester United legend Dwight York made an unexpected statement. The former Trinidad and Tobago ace believes that the Red Devils should compete for Liverpool star Trent Alexander-Arnold. I'm not sure if Trent wants to leave Liverpool, but the club is in a rebuilding phase now after Jurgen Klopp's departure. This could be another opportunity where, if Liverpool don't perform under slot and Trent becomes disgruntled, Man United should do all they can to sign him. Alexander Arnold could have a similar opportunity that Man United should take advantage of. Obviously, there is history between the clubs, and Alexander Arnold will be aware of this as an Englishman, but this could be an opportunity worth looking at. Manchester United are going to sign two centre backs this summer. Regardless of whether they succeed in lending Jared Brentwaite, the club intends to complete the move of Bayern Munich defender Matis de Ligt. The latter spent the best years of his career at Ajax under the guidance of Jörg ten Hag. The Bavarians, in turn, are willing to let De Ligt go, as they are one step away from securing the transfer of Jonathan Ta from Bayer Leverkusen and have previously bought centre back Hiroki Ito from VfB Stuttgart. Besides, according to Talk Sport, Man United are keen on AS Roma forward Paulo Dybala, whose release clause will be worth just 12 million euros this summer. He could potentially replace Marcus Rashford, in whom PSG are interested. 
Barcelona wonder kid Lemmy Niemal could become the most valuable player in the history of football. PSG see Yamal as the perfect replacement for Kylian Mbappe. For the sake of his move, the Red and Blues were ready to break the record of Neymar, for whom they paid more than 222 million euros. In Yamal's case, the Liga 1 triumphants were going to pay 250 million euros, as they informed Barcelona. However, the Catalans made it clear that they would not listen to any offers for Lamine since he's considered untouchable. Guys, the Football Club channel has released a new video about the most shocking moves of the summer of 2024. We highly recommend you give it a watch. Bye-bye, everyone!